Before creating my animatic, I realized that figuring out the pace and timing of the drawings to the music with trial and error would be too time consuming. To work around this, I used Adobe Premiere Pro to quickly make a video which zooms into each shot of the rough storyboard I had already drawn in time with the music, giving me a really good starting point. When creating the animatic in OpenTunes, I made sure to be detailed enough with the backgrounds and to draw the key poses for the character animations so that I could use it as a reliable reference when working on the project. I also added some simple effects such as moving elements, pans and zooms so I could better visualize how the final product will look. While I did change quite a few shots to improve the pacing or just to make it look better, the overall narrative remained the same from the initial storyboard. When creating my prototype, I tried to use every single technique I would likely use in the production of my major work. I started off by creating a basic 3D model of the scene in Maya to use it as a base for painting the environment, which was especially useful for knowing where the shadows would be. This technique streamlined the background painting process considerably, and was used in nearly half of the shots in my major work. When moving on to Photoshop, I first painted the entire environment in grayscale as I thought it would be easier to not worry about color until the end, then using layer blending modes to color. While this worked, I found that the colors didn't look as natural as I would have liked and I decided to simply paint with colors for future backgrounds. As I was unsure as to what specific style to draw in, I used a lot of painterly brushes like the ones used on the rocks on the foreground here. While it looks pretty good and I used this technique for earlier shots in the project, I found it was quite time consuming and the quality of the result varied. To resolve this, I simply used textured brushes less and favoured more simple and hard brushes, saving painterly brushes for just texturing towards the end. After the environment was finished, I duplicated and flattened all the layers which sat on the same plane. I then imported these layers into Maya to animate camera movements. However, it turned out that Maya can't render out image planes and I would have to create and render individual polyplanes for each layer. I realized this would be too time consuming, so I decided to screen capture the animation through the viewport using OBS Studio and use it as a reference for keyframing the movements in After Effects. Moving on to the character animation in OpenTunes, the production process was pretty straightforward. I imported a flattened background, then started with a rough first pass animation, made the refined outline, and then colored on a new layer below it. I also created a shadow layer, which was drawn in blue. Using the FX schematic function, I added a matte in to mask it onto the color layer, changed the layer blend mode to multiply, and lowered the opacity. With all of my assets completed, I imported a rendered image sequence of the character animation into the After Effects project I had before. Before finishing my prototype, I also added some simple effects and post-processing, such as Gaussian blurs, light leaks, and a flattened copy of the entire composition, which was blurred and set to hard light blend mode with lower transparency to slightly soften the scene and increase contrast. The overall production pipeline for each scene didn't change much from my prototype. I always began with the backgrounds before the animation, and for most shots, I either used the drawing from my animatic, or I made a simple 3D model in Maya. Using this, I would either make a sketch with refined perspective, or trace my reference depending on whether I used the animatic or a 3D model respectively. I would then begin with a colored block out of the silhouette of each layer along with the basic shadows, adding in smaller shapes and detail as I go. A technique I used in almost every shot is forced atmospheric perspective. By exaggerating the shift in hue and lightness towards that of the sky, as well as losing detail as objects are pushed further back into the distance, it emphasizes the illusion of depth. I could then start adding lighting, fog, or other atmospheric aspects to get the overall mood I'm trying to capture, which can also be used to emphasize depth. After this, I would add texture to materials using a variety of painterly brushes, then finally be ready to duplicate all layers and flatten the ones which belonged to the same plane before exporting. As for the character animation, the methods didn't change from my prototype.